All righty, everyone. Hi there, and welcome to a quick episode of Cooking with Auntie Sonia. Auntie Sonia is a little bit bored, so you can't see me, but you can see my pot with my little bit of olive oil in there. And I am going to make myself a little quick meal. I am going to make a little quick, 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 quick chickpeas meal. First, I am going to put in my teaspoon full of garlic because I want it to have like a little burnt garlic flavor. So adding my one large chopped onion. And prior to my large chopped onion, I had see my garlic getting a little burnt. I want to have that flavor. So, hence me putting it in first. Then I had some frozen onions and peppers. And I just want to use that up. So, you can just use onions and garlic. But being that I had this sitting on hand, I am just going to dump it in there. And I'm going to let that cook up a little bit so nothing goes to waste. Nothing goes to waste. I'm going to let that saute for a little bit. And then, because this is just a little quickie thing, my all-time favorite. I'm leaning over here. You can, you can barely see into my pot, but that's all right. Just giving you a little sneak peek. Those little sticks, as some folks would call them, you see dropping in there. Those are, that's thyme, dry thyme. Not measuring anything. This is just a little quickie. A little quickie meal. That would have probably been a half a teaspoon, if that. So what you're looking at in the pot is probably about two onions and a couple pieces of peppers. And here comes my famous Scotch bonnet pepper sauce that I love because I like spice. So I'm adding in there probably about two tablespoons. And I am also going to add about two tablespoons of soy sauce. Ask me why. Because I'm trying not to use a lot of salt. And that's as saucy as I want to get. And last but not least, my turmeric. And this right here is about a two, ta two teaspoons. Recycle that. See that pretty color? Mmm, yum, yum, yummy. And I'm using chickpeas from the can from all these. So my pe my chickpeas are already cooked. And another name for them is garbanzo beans. Garbanzo beans. Alrighty. And what you saw me throw in there was a little bit of I had crushed some of the beans, so I'm putting that in there to let it start sauteing because the beans are already cooked, so I just need my seasonings to cook. So all I have in here right now is just onions and peppers and turmeric and some Scotch bonnet pepper sauce. I'm gonna add a little bit of garlic powder just for add, because I'm really looking for a garlicky flavor today. And as you notice, I'm not adding any salt to it because these canned goods are already salty. And the sister got to watch the blood pressure, the blood pressure. Because I'm not trying to have this blood pressure go up on me. So, and one of my all-time favorite things that I add, and it just makes everything so much better. Guess what it is, y'all? That coconut milk. Yes, sir. See that nice milkiness that just went in there? And with that, I am going to add my... Oh, I washed it off and I have some water left in there. So basically what I did was 
I washed my garbanzo beans off to get that canned saltiness off of it. And now I am going to add them to this sauce that I have here. And I'm going to also use my spoon to mash to mash mash some of the beans to get, to get a little thickness in here. So I'm just stirring right now, making sure everything is getting a good covering of my coconut milk. Let me shift the camera for a bit so you can see. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take the back of the spoon and just mash, you know, mash some of the, the garbanzo beans here, my chickpeas here. This plastic spoon is not doing the job as I would like it done. So, reach in the drawer next to me here and voila here we go I'm gonna use this metal one here to just mash mash see that lovely and if I had which I have a piece of roti because you know I went to things yesterday and I bought a roti skin and I've already had two meals out of it so it's going to be a part of this meal here and I'm just mashing some of my beans some of my garbanzo beans here to get me a nice little rich thick flavor I could actually also just dump some in my ninja or my blender and blend it but I'm not going to do that I just want to you know just a, a nice little mash not too too pasty and I'm gonna let that saute for a little bit. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Once it's done, I will enjoy it with either, no, I won't do any rice. I could have it all by itself, or I can go ahead and have it with that piece of roti skin that I have left over. But I will show you what it looks like. But as you can see, just a couple simple onions, peppers, garlic, little bit of thyme some soy sauce and that's it that is it so I'm gonna just let it saute just a tad more because I don't want it too too mushy and then I'll just show you the end product but I want to say thank you so much for tuning in and joining Auntie Sonia cooking here and you'll see the end results in a minute toodles